Topor process, again, you're, you're controlling it, yes. right? So with control uh, comes being able to solve out some of the, the issues or the problems that we could run into. Yep, um, less turbulence, less gas. With the, the control process, um, you know, as we were mentioning different industries and, and you, either the parts hidden, not hidden, right. they, they, they can deal with a little bit of porosity. I think what's nice about the, this process as well is you can control where you put it. Yes. Right? So yeah. um, you, you can move uh, shrink or porosity yep. by using chills or you can never get rid of it, but nope. you can move it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, so you could, you could put it in, in the gates. Sure. Right? Or the push it. Yep. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so, so we had mentioned a little bit of this earlier on, uh, but obviously, again, with the control process, beer down the side of the beer glass, you're getting denser castings, uh, so a lot stronger parts. Um, machinability afterwards. Uh, so and machines much better too, yes, okay. because of the properties. So so what, what helps on the machining side? Is it, is it a softer material? Because we're talking about stronger uh, parts, but... Most, most sand castings, they don't cast with uh, 356. Uh, most of them I've used was 319, it's a softer metal. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a gummier metal until you heat treat. Gotcha. And then it's easier to machine. Okay. So you're trying to essentially bake the part and make it denser. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. 